Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Michelle with VinVonAlley.com. I am here to do a Bibling, Bible journaling entry on Ruth. I was inspired by watching a um, film slash documentary, documentary on Pure Flix, and then I had a conversation with my um, good sis, Trika, the other night. But I'm also using Ruth in a project that I'm working on. And listening to that documentary, it, it just opened my eyes to more of that story about Ruth. So you're seeing what's going on on the screen, which is I'm using a printable from my shop, Women of the Bible printable. I'm incorporating some of that along with the journaling card, which was a gift from my uh, sis Trika. And I think those are the only elements. Yes, I'm using mostly everything that you see being used here are printables from my shop. The only thing that is not from the shop is the journaling card. So you'll see how everything comes together. And I do struggle a little bit with the journaling card. I don't know what I was thinking, but I fix it. I get it together. It works out at the end. So yes, back to Ruth. What interests me so much about the story of Ruth is that Ruth was a Moabite meaning that she wasn't a, um, a follower of Jehovah. She wasn't a follower of God. She worshiped a false God. And it was interesting to me that somehow she came to know Malone and she married Malone and it was her and Oprah. Oprah was also married to Malone's brother. Now, it happened where Naomi lost her husband, she lost the sons, and she was left with these two daughter-in-laws. And the one daughter-in-law that refused to leave her was Ruth. And what I take away from the story of Ruth is that this is someone who came from an idol god, but she accepted Jehovah. She, she turned to worship Jehovah. She accepted. Her words to Naomi was, I will go where you go. I will stay wherever you stay and your God will be my God. So for her to say something like that, she had to see the power of God, despite losing the men of the family. She had to see the power of God for her to be convinced that yes, I must stick with this woman and I must follow her God. And to stick with Naomi after losing her own husband, shows me that she had great love for Naomi. There was a message of love in there. She loved Naomi so much that she refused to leave her. And in some, some ways, I want to believe that she, there was more that she needed to learn from Naomi. I mean, Naomi was the mother-in-law and of course she was older and she probably, and I'm sure she had more wisdom about the, about, you know, about God and what their customs were regarding that time. And I'm sure Ruth said, you know what? I've seen the power of their God. I'm accepting their God. And I want to know more about this God. I got to go wherever she's going so that I can get what I need to get from her. There was a hunger in Ruth that I want to believe. There was a hunger and a desire to know about El Shaddai, God Almighty. I believe there was a hunger and she said, you know what, wherever I have to go and whatever I have to do, I'm going to do it because I want to know about this God, this God that is so rich in love and mercy and he's all powerful, even more powerful than my God. Because remember, she was from Moab, so they were worshiping idol gods. They were worshiping, worshiping basically statues, gods with no power. And she had to see the power of God. And that just impressed me so much. And little did she know that by following and pursuing God and going with Naomi, that she would be used for a bigger purpose and for a bigger plan. Because the story goes on that she goes, when she gets um, to Naomi's um, town, she meets Boaz, Boaz is a kinsman. She marries Boaz. They have a son, and the son is 
Obed. And guess what? Obed has Jesse, Jesse has David, and that is the lineage of where Jesus comes from. Because Joseph, Mary's husband, is a descendant of David. So Ruth had a purpose and a plan that she didn't even know about. Well, we've come to the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed this layout. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a part of the Vin Von Alley family, I hope you stick around and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I appreciate you guys watching and joining me in another Bible journaling entry. You guys be blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you.